first of all this is my first time filming with my ring light actually on and i feel like i'm being blinded i have it turned to the lowest possible setting and it's still so bright it's hurting my eyes so this is gonna be rough okay anyway blindness aside um i said i was gonna do a video <laughs> i said i was gonna do a video on personal statements and so here it is My name is Jojo and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome in my view your personal statement is probably the most important part of your application and so while your personal statement is just that very personal to you and what you have to say there are a few just more general things that you want to try to avoid at all costs because they won't reflect well and and so i'm just gonna go over a few of those things today and i guess talk about what you should do instead so i want to preface this and i should probably just preface all of my videos with the disclaimer that i am not an expert i am not an expert in writing essays i'm not an expert in formatting your cv i'm not an expert in applying to phd programs i'm not an expert in any of this everything that i say in all of these videos is just based off of my experience and through conversations that i've had with people um and really just my opinion um but these were things that all helped me throughout the process of applying to phd programs and i just want to pass as much on as possible okay so the first thing you want to avoid or try to avoid is waiting until last minute to start writing your personal statement if you wait until a week or two weeks before applications are due to start writing then you will most likely end up submitting a personal statement that you are not 100 percent satisfied with application deadlines create tremendous stress and pressure and especially if you're applying to multiple programs then that pressure is going to get to you and you're going to become so overwhelmed that you might not get to work on your personal statements as much as you would have liked if you wait until last minute to start writing so instead pretty self-explanatory but what you want to do is try to start as early as possible when i was working on applications the second time around the first thing i did was go to the personal statement and read the prompt and start thinking about what i was going to write about the earlier you start to think about and formulate what you're going to write for your personal statement the more opportunities you'll have to go back to it and review it and proofread it and edit it like that way you can be sure that you're writing exactly what you want to say in exactly the way you want to say it or as close to it as possible this kind of segues into the second thing you want to avoid which is don't write whatever and however you want to um programs give you essay prompts and they give you well some of them give you format requirements to follow and this is for a reason it's to make sure that your personal statement is as concise and succinct as possible while still giving you the space to say what you need to say in order to answer the question so what you want to do again kind of self-explanatory but what you want to do is follow those prompts and stick to the formatting guidelines address the questions being asked stick to their page limits stick to their spacing requirements if they have any their font size all of that because like i said they actually pay attention to this the next don't is don't use your personal statement as a narrative of what's on your cv they have your cv they can read your CV. They don't need you to go into more detail about what's on your CV. It's just not necessary. A lot of people tend to use their personal statement as just an opportunity to explain all of their accomplishments. Um, and they don't need you to do that. That's not the point. Instead, what you want to do is use your personal statement as a narrative of you and your professional aspirations and interests and your goals. Think of your personal statement as like a pre-interview. As you're writing, try to think of ways to communicate things that typically you would verbally communicate in an interview. Um, things that 
someone wouldn't be able to tell about you from just reading bullet points on your CV. The next don't is don't use cliches or quotes or any other like typical attention grabbing technique in the intro of your essay. I don't know about everyone, but I know for me in school growing up, they would always teach us when we were writing essays that we had to start with some attention grabbing sentence or exclamation or quote um, that made the reader want to keep reading because otherwise they're gonna stop and it's gonna be pointless. Um, don't do this. <laughs> attention grabbers are cliche, they're cheesy and the person reading your application will probably roll their eyes um, because why <laughs> however this doesn't mean that you shouldn't try to captivate your reader in some way you do want your introduction to your essay to be interesting find some other interesting way to make the person reading your application want to continue reading your statement. For example, in my personal statement, I started off by asking a very thought, or what I thought was a very thought provoking question that was centered around the research that I was doing and the research that I wanted to continue doing in the program. This kind of left the reader on a cliffhanger that I didn't really come back to and address until probably I want to say three paragraphs down um, where I started going in more depth about my research interests and my future aspirations as a clinician. And the last don't that I have is don't use the same statement for every single application. Application readers know a one size fits all personal statement when they see one and they will not be impressed. It just comes off as very generic, very boring, very lazy in a sense, um, very uninterested. Yeah, they just don't like it. So what you want to do instead is tailor your personal statements to the school or program that you're applying for. This is pretty much exactly the same thing as what I mentioned in my video about letters of recommendation where I said you want to tailor your recommenders to your applications. Um, you want to do the exact same thing with your personal statement. You want to tailor what you talk about in your personal statement to the individual programs. Not saying that you have to start from scratch and like reinvent the wheel every time you start a new application, but you should definitely rearrange and substitute information as necessary. Um, you should know your stuff and you know if you've done research about the programs that you're applying to before you submit your applications then in your personal statement you should be able to speak to what it is about that program that interests you what is it about that program that makes it special to you and they want you to use specifics because it shows that you've done your homework um, so yeah all right, and that's it. Another really short video. I have been trying to shorten the length of my videos. Um, I realize I talk a lot. I tend to ramble sometimes, um, but I really try to get as much information in these videos as possible. So yeah, hopefully this was helpful. <laughs> Leave me a comment down below if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and click that little notification button so you don't miss my next upload. And I will see you in my next one.